guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about the 5.4 liter two valve uh, excursions. A lot of people don't really like these as they're uh, seen as pretty gutless and slow. Um, I, I personally, I really like this vehicle, so I'm going to try not to give a biased review on this thing. I'm going to try to give you guys an honest review. Um, things I like about this vehicle are, unlike the diesel counterparts, it's very, very quiet. It gets up and goes when I need it to, not quite as fast as I'd like, but it does get up and go. One thing I also like about this, opposed to the diesel counterparts, is the uh, transmission temperature gauge on the dash cluster itself. You don't have to install an aftermarket one. Only pitfall to that is, well, you have no full time. Another good thing about this vehicle is uh, that's not necessarily related to the engine to start is the sheer size of these excursions. I mean, what can't you put in these things? I've seen, I've had a four wheeler in the back of this. But uh, back to the actual five four reviews. Um, what I can say about this vehicle, yes, it is pre pretty slow. It doesn't get the greatest fuel economy. It's not the greatest pulling a trailer. Those are the downfalls I can see to the 542 valve. In relation to pulling a trailer though, if you click the overdrive off on the shift column, it will do pretty well. I mean, I've towed a trailer with this before and it gets uh, it gets up and goes and it'll maintain it with the overdrive off. You don't have to stick your foot in it nearly as hard. Uh, one thing I can also say is that fuel economy, Mixed, I get like between city and highway, I get about 14 miles a gallon, which isn't great, but it isn't bad either. Um, on the highway, I get about 16. On the things I really like about this gas one is it's not really loud at all. It rides just as smooth as all the other excursions I've been in, diesel or gas. It will pull a trailer pretty well, like I mentioned earlier. It's a fantastic vehicle. So, on a five-star rating scale, what would I give this thing? I'd give it a solid four stars. Why would I give it such a high rating? Um, that's because it's never left me stranded at all. I've been in snowstorms, rainstorms, practically 70, 80 mile an hour winds with this thing. It's never left me stranded. I can get up to uh, my local ski area where I work at, going about, 50 miles an hour and this thing doesn't slide at all the 5.4 does well for it I think could it be a little bit faster a little bit higher powered I think it probably could so granted yes this is a short video but would I recommend the 5.4 two valve excursion absolutely on the account that you are not pulling very heavy. If you're gonna be pulling with this ex with an excursion, like say a trailer or like a work vehicle, I'd recommend a V10 or a diesel. But if you're not gonna be pulling very heavy, like you just kind of need it as something to tote the family around with or go on long trips, this is the vehicle for you. Um, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see more of. I'll try to get a video at some point of this with a trailer on the back. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.